Hey my beautiful earth signs, Kim Enchantress here to do the cycles of the moon spread for October 21 and it will be in five phases of the moon, five cycles of the moon that's coming to you and the first part of the moon phase is the waning moon. So the waning moon occurs between a full moon when the visible surface is fully round and lit up. Now that surface faces the earth and is completely covered in a shadow. So it's always illuminated on the left side of the moon. The first card is about withdrawing and what is diminishing from your life, what's fading away or on the way out. So we're gonna have a look at that for you. So we've got the first card here, She Who Laughs. And I'm using the beautiful um, Fairy Forest cards here by Lucy Cavendish. Great illustrations. And I'll be clarifying with the Enchanted Lenormand deck by Caitlin Matthews and Virginia Lee. So the first card, She Who Laughs. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's about humour. So there is within your life now a great heaviness, an earnest, a sense of great gravity to nearly every situation unfolding. Yes, this is of great importance and yes, there are consequences to consider. But this card has come to you because she who laughs wishes for you to receive the healing power of laughter, the power that lifts the darkness and releases energy that is stagnant, cold and heavy from our energy field, indeed from our limbs and cells and hearts. For you, this laughter is necessary as surgery at this moment and it will shake loose the cords, strapping you tightly to burdens you no longer need to carry. Let the light break through and laugh, as without laughter there can be no perspective, without laughter there can be no movement forward, without laughter there can be a sense of deep abiding resentment. Lift this. Let she who laughs begin to help you seek out moments, people and situations that stir the sense of the ridiculous within you. And let the healing and the release of laughter roll through you and life away the pain at the centre of your being. Its time is passing. It will melt away with tears of laughter that fall and cleanse and free you from the past. For now the sun breaks through and your eyes shine once again with mirth and joy. Welcome back to the world of delight. So that's beautiful. So I have the key card here which is your destiny and it's something that is needed so you're going to find a solution how to, to break free of um, this heaviness that you've been carrying so we'll go to the second phase of the moon second cycle of the moon which is the dark moon and it's the last visible of the waning moon so we have the trickster card here number 19 so Number 19 is about deceit, betrayal. And this card tells you, let me be a reminder to be your true self. Be true to yourself, to your own personal truths, to the code within your soul. Truly, it is time, it is essential for you to let your consequence be your guide. You let your conscience be your guide. And to live according to your own creed with open eyes. Do not fool yourself into believing another person's vision and ideas are important than your own. Question agendas and be aware of people's history. For at this time there is one about you who is attempting to persuade you to their cause. To join them in what they see as a great task but which in truth is simply a harnessing of your power to their agenda, which is not for your highest good. All tricksters are charming and know exactly what to say to persuade you, but there is a mere language. Their deeds will not match their words, and what you are agreeing to by joining with them will be a loss of your own personal dreams for the furthering of theirs. If you allow yourself to be co coerced, and manipulated at this time it will weigh heavily on your very soul be more wary than is um, natural for you at this time so don't betray yourself or ignore the warning signs which is all about you 
Do not foolishly give away your power, but exercise it and weave a future that is truly the one you wish to create. One which will provide you with honour, plenty and the satisfaction of having been true to yourself. So we're discovering that you're withdrawing from anything that's heavy burdens on you. And now someone's trying to come in to persuade you to do something. So there's someone that's communicating with you. So it's important to read between the lines here. Very important. Now we'll go on to the third cycle of the moon, which is the new moon, which has already happened on the 6th of October. I have done the new moon readings, guys, if you want to see how it relates to this reading. Now the new moon is a season of a new beginning. It's time to activate whatever your intentions are. And it's about what's going to be starting up soon, initiating your energy into that. And it's a seed for your future. So you must pay attention what to watch for and what will grow in power. Now, make a wish and understand what will be developing. So we've got the hedge witch, which is about secrets, hidden love and... Uh, herb and wisdom so let's see what you're going to uh, put your intentions into so it's saying you've been asked to consider herbal forms of healing now maybe you work with herbal medicine working with what is in between effective and yet natural available and yet still hardly acknowledged Maybe a need to change your foods you eat to include more greens and herbs to boost energy and health, especially around the COVID time, guys. And begin to pay very serious attention to the quality of foods you eat again. Put a very close focus on the world of herbs and plants. So you can, at this time, adjust the way you eat and find essential oil blends which assist with sleeping, with being calm, dissipating anger and increasing self-love, deepening your wisdom along the way. So explore growing your own flowers and vegetables and herbs. So maybe this is about planting a season what is going to start growing for you. You need to begin to consider the truth that what you ingest becomes your very molecule of your body. And you may decide at this time to reduce additives, sugar and various forms of meat too. You now begin a journey into health and well-being and eat what is good and wholesome for you. The hedge witch is the messenger guiding you to a new path of nourishment and well-being through the plant world. So that's beautiful. So maybe this with the fox here is a um, a job that, that you do. You may work with all natural herbs and medicines. So maybe this is something that you're starting um, to sow and you're seeing something happening for the future for you. But you need to know the power here with the key. This is your destiny. So we'll go on to the waxing moon, which is the fourth cycle of the moon, meaning it's more half of the moon is illuminated at this time. And this is where strong growth comes. And where you take continued action um, in what is developing. You know, how this growth comes about and what to expect as this grows for you. How the best to feed the growth that you'll be undergoing at the time. And we've got Ragnarok, and she's number 11. So it is about something being destructive, an ending, a final moment. So there must be an ending and it must come soon. You have stood between the forces of destruction for some time, believing that to hold on and to maintain what is seeking to end has been the strong and right thing to do. But when this card comes, it is Ragnarok, the end of the world. And while the card can speak of earth changes and uh, cataclysms, that begin with the sea and the land and the sky is more truly about the end of one time in your life. Because a cycle is nearing not only completion, it must end in order for the new beginning which awaits you 
to be given the space it needs to enter and flourish. Everything has its time. Every tree must fall. Please know that you are neither weak nor are you a failure for letting this ending happen. Holding on is taking up all your energy and draining you. And when the finality you are hoping to avoid will actually bring your bring you renewal and truth a raw primal moment when you can become your own true self again cease exhausting yourself by holding on to what is already over you cannot stop what seems to be destruction but you can be ready for yourself to face what must be faced to go through the hard time that will soon come but which will bring you much richness and so many opportunities let go and cease your quiet suffering Howl, lift the sky with cries of pain, but then sleep. Know how you will return with a spirit daring, strong and reborn. So that's beautiful. So it's basically telling you that the sun's going to shine again for you. You know, this is, uh, you'll see that happy times again coming, especially with the colour red here. It's a fiery energy here. So definitely, um... Growth is coming, success is coming, happiness is coming. And this is how you're going to grow by letting go of something. Now the last stage is the full moon on the 21st of October. And this is the peak time, the height of the power, the moment of energetic climax. And the energy that will be ampl amplified and most fertile and creative. That's what's going to become empowered. So we have... A feeling which is nobility, grace, and gratitude. So something's happening for you, earth signs, and you are going to be grateful for this. So heavy is the head who wears the crown, but within every moment, within all responsibilities and circumstances, lies the opportunity to be noble, to be graceful, to be grateful. And this is a feeling, a wise being who is able to listen to the pleas and the request and the demands and to respond without pressure or frustration or tension. She is able to distill the, uh, the clamour or about her into calm and focus on a simple deed at a time. She is not one to sacrifice herself, nor will she allow herself to be influenced and dominated. Nor is she overwhelmed, despite the vast nature of her realm and her responsibilities. She wears her duties lightly, just as does the crown. And this is your message. Find a way to slow down the demands of your life. Create boundaries. Cease feeling so obligated to sacrifice your needs to the needs of others and who are simply noisier and more entitled. For this moment, breathe and still yourself and then carefully move forward, focusing on the one thing at a time, giving each task your absolute attention. Now is the time for you to be gracious. When you say no is when you give your agreement. To never be cruel or snap and condemn simply because it would be easier to do so. A feeling reminds us that even when under pressure with duty and status come great responsibility and we must remember our blessings in order to develop our own contentment. We must extend pa uh, patience and endow others with dignity, be kind, be grateful that we have the opportunities that we have to change the world for the better every day. And it does come with opportunities, with the crossroads. With opportunities comes choices, guys. So I'm just going to see how this is playing out for you. Let's see. Okay. So we've got the key and we've got the letter. So there's something that you need to pay attention to. And um, this is news that's come to you that's important. It's a required message. So we'll see what that's about. Now we've got the letter and the fox. So with the um, letter and the fox, it could be a job offer. Someone's offering you something, but it's untrustworthy, as I said. Someone's going to try to uh, sway you to do something which is for their own good and not yours. So we've got the fox and the sun. So just looking at the story, how it's playing out here. 
Now, um, with the fox and the sun, this is a success that doesn't seem to, um, it doesn't appear to what it seems to be, you know. It's job success, but something's not right about it. And then we've got the sun and the uh, crossroads. With this cab, I feel like, you know, while you're out on having a pleasant walk and thinking of how you can expand your future, you may be thinking of branching out here. So let's see. Now, under the deck, we had the man here. So with the man and the key, this is someone who is very important to you, a significant person in your life. This person is safe, they're dependable and very successful in life. Now when they come with a letter, this could be a, a, a journalist or a message from a man in general. And maybe they're um, a little bit dishonest here offering you a job perhaps uh, being a little bit cunning and crafty now you've got the sun and the sun is um, this man telling you to be successful and optimistic in your life but this man I feel is a loner He's a single man and he may have some obstacles in his way. So as someone that's trying to persuade you in um, doing something that is only for their own benefit. So you need to stick to your guns. You need to relieve that heaviness. You know, don't let anyone come in to deceive you and offer you something that's truly not where you're meant to be at this time. You know, you will be happy in the near future, providing you let go of that heaviness and burdens that you've been carrying. There is opportunities that are going to be successful for you coming up. So I hope you liked the reading, guys. Uh, check out your uh, new the New Moon in Libra reading, which I've just done, and see how it resonates with you guys. Leave me your comments below and see how this resonated with you. It's going to be different for everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.